We are just two days away from Barry Larkin's induction into the Baseball Hall of Fame. At Nine Sports has been in Cooperstown talking with people, of course. Nine Sports anchor Dennis Jensen here now with what's happening there, DJ. Clyde and Sonia, we speak fairly blithely about Cooperstown, New York, as if everyone has been here. Well, let me say this, it comes highly recommended. And as many people who have been here on an annual basis, seemingly, that many more are going to be experiencing it for the first time this weekend. So Nine Sports Director John Popovich has provided a little tour guide for the highlights and the higher lights of the first village of baseball. It's a Norman Rockwell painting. Ducks nibbling down at the lake. Gulls gracing the skies. This is Cooperstown, the mythical birthplace of baseball. Cooperstown is a full year village, you know, but there's less than 1,900 people here year round. This weekend, though, the population here spikes. It's the fans' annual Hall of Fame pilgrimage. Every place is known for something some for making steel, some for building cars, some for being high tech. Well, Cooperstown, New York, it's known for baseball. Take a look around. There's the on-deck card shop, the bases loaded Christmas shop, ornaments with bats and balls. There's fashion at line drives and lipstick. Your trip might go extra innings, and that's the inside scoop. Baseball's spoken here a lot, but that's not all Cooperstown has. The Cooper of Cooperstown is William Cooper, whose son James Fenimore Cooper wrote The Last of the Mohicans. All of those books are set at the lake. Lake Otsego is a stone's throw from the Hall of Fame. Natty Bumpo's on the shore. Over here are modern lakefront homes, but not far from where roosters still strut, gritty roads, and well-maintained history. But when you introduce yourself as the mayor of Cooperstown, people are like, really? Really? I think their vision of it is, to some degree, accurate. What a wonderful, almost magical place. It's a romantic place of baseball history and a beautiful reminder of American history. John Popovich, Nine Sports in Cooperstown. Thanks, as always, to John and to Philip Lee and Dan Tackett for their work on that nice profile of the serene place they call Cooperstown.